What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you how to color any object when it's spinning around. I know this is kind of an odd lineup but for this video I'm going to show you guys di two different ways to color any spinning object like wheels because these are supposed to look like wheels and then I'm going to transition over here to show you how to color a tornado. And the technique is pretty broad so just stick with me for this one. But anyway, let's go. Okay, so what you see me do is coloring these wheels, and I use some markers to do it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my ruler, and I still have my guidelines visible, and that's okay. So I'm going to draw over them, just so you guys can see them. And it's okay if they look like this. You can actually have them tilted in any direction. Like the way I just had them, they were across the circle like this. I can have them like that, if I want to. But... Once you have that drawn, what we're going to do is we're going to draw triangles surrounding those lines. So we're pretty much drawing, I'd say, something like that. I don't know how else to describe it, but basically draw this. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to draw a circle that surrounds this black dot. And this I'm also going to use as a guide to help me. And we're going to draw a series of circles that gradually get bigger. They don't exactly have to be perfect circles. Obviously mine aren't. And once you reach the edge, you can stop. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Copic marker. And you are going to need a brush tip for this. I'm using C7. So what I'm going to do is on each of these lines, I'm going to try to make a brush stroke that kind of traces that line like that. And they don't all have to match. So I'm just going to make like a small stroke right there. And then another one while also tracing that circular line. And then you can change that up if you want. Switch it up. And then make a big long one at the top. And then remember the triangles that we drew with our pencil? You don't want to go far outside of those lines because if you can see if you can see the ones that I drew here and over here, I went outside of them just a little bit, and that's okay. So what I mean when I say go far out, I meant don't go all the way over here. So something like this. You can add like little strokes here or there. Okay. And now once we have our lines in place, I'm gonna take my eraser, erase it so I can see the result. And there we go, we got a little spinning object. It looks more like a disc now. But yeah, it was intended to be a wheel at first. Okay, so now we're gonna transition to this one and we're gonna make the same guidelines. So once we pick our lines, we're just gonna go across the circle, any direction is good, and then surround that line with other lines to do this. Okay, and instead of using a Copic marker for this one, I'm actually going to use a paint pen. I'm going to use one of my Posca pens. But first, we're going to give it a shake. Okay, now before we get to actually using the Posca pen, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. So you see this little shape that we made, sort of like a triangle shape, or a cone shape rather? I'm actually going to curve that. Gonna give it up like a small curve. Then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. And try not to got try not to go too far out of those um, straight lines. Okay. So now let me erase them so that they're barely visible. Because I don't want the 
I don't want the paint to kind of smudge on the pencil lines. And now, I'm just gonna go over that. And then just give it a solid color. And it might just cover up the guidelines. So you don't have to worry too much about them being fully erased. Okay, now we're gonna give that a little bit time to dry and then we can come back and fix anything else. But in conclusion, that's how you draw a spinning object using a Posca pen. So now let's transition down here to this tornado. So what I'm gonna do first is that since I have the tornado shape drawn already, I'm actually gonna go around it with my black Sharpie. And just scribble in some background. Okay, so now that we gave it a black background, what I am gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple grays from my collection, and really, whatever guidelines that are in there, you can leave them. So you don't have to worry about erasing anything. But I'm gonna use um, some markers. I'm gonna use my Touch Twin markers for this one instead of my Copics. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my one, just throw in some base color in here. No, this mark is about to dry out. But it does kind of help because what I am initially going for is to get some movement of the tornado with this marker. So, but what you can do is that you can make the edges kind of solid while most of this tornado has movement because of this dried out marker. Okay, so we're gonna take C3, or cool grade number three, and we're gonna kinda emphasize the movement of the tornado while also using the marker strokes that the other marker gave us as a guide. So I'm gonna create lines here or there. Kinda of like tiger stripes in a way. Add like a little loop up here. Like a jelly donut almost. And then we can add a little bit of emphasis on the edges. And then possibly with our cool gray one, let's see if the brush tip has ink in it, we can kind of blend it back together. So that way these lines are kind of blurred. Okay, and now we're on to our darkest color, which is uh, C5. And again, I'm gonna apply this to the edges to kind of blend that in with the black because I want the edges to kind of be blurred. And it doesn't have to be exactly blurred, just, um, just so the edges don't look super clean. So I'm kind of doing the opposite of what I normally do. But um, if worse comes to worse, then I can just throw in my C7 or my C9 to help blend it in with the black. In fact, I just might do that. In fact, after this, we can go with our C7. We gotta blend this back to our base color first.
because we got all our movement lines in place already so we don't have to worry too much about those until later let me um so i gotta substitute the base color with this prismacolor marker but it lays down the same colored ink so it's not too much of a big deal Okay, so let me grab my C7 right quick. Now we're getting some sort of a blur going on. And let's see, the C3 might just finish it up. darker okay so we should be good on the blurring the edges part so now let's go in with uh, we can go with C3 and try to darken those movement lines again some circular movement as if there are some imaginary ellipses somewhere in this tornado and when I say ellipse I also mean oval an ellipse and an oval are the same thing pretty much okay so now what we're gonna do since everything is finished I'm gonna grab my white colored pencil and since I laid down some black and this colored pencil kind of works like paints I'm actually gonna draw some ellipses on some parts like this and it only takes one stroke, but if you want it to be super thick, then you can go over in like two or three or more possibly, like this. And then it doesn't, it doesn't even have to be a full ellipse. You can draw lines that kind of show some spinning going on. Just as long as it's an ellipse, then you should be good. And I'm also going to apply that to the edges. Like the edges that I wanted blurred, I'm going to try to draw over top of those. And maybe somewhere off of the tornado. Just draw a couple lines here and there. And you might not see much of the white inside the tornado, so that's why I'm going. That's why most of my lines are on the edges. And of course, the gel pen could also work, but I prefer using the white color pencil for this one. And then a couple of lines to emphasize the movement somewhere up here. And there we go, we got our tornado. So let me zoom back out so I can show you guys everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna assume this is dry. So now I'm just gonna go fix this dot here. Maybe some areas up here as well. But other than that, that's three different ways to color spinning objects. I hope you found this video useful. And if you did, give it a like and a comment. Subscribe if you haven't and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video. I can't let a nigga like Pat Kate.